Microsoft Forms is a flexible data collection tool and Microsoft SharePoint is a collaborative environment, both of which are found in the Microsoft 365 platform. Now, Microsoft Forms are incredibly easy to create and share and they become much more powerful once you have the ability to integrate them into a SharePoint site so they're much more accessible to your staff. Today, I'm going to show you how to integrate a Microsoft Form into a SharePoint site in just a few simple steps. All right, you know what, let's head over to my computer and just get started. So here we have a demo suggestion box that was created in Microsoft Forms for an earlier video. Now, if you've never created a form with Microsoft Forms before, I would suggest you check out that video and then come on back and just get right to it. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do is get the URL for this particular form that's used for sharing, and that's really, really simple to do. The first thing we're going to do is click on the share button in the upper right hand corner of the window, and that's going to cause a pane to appear. Now on that pane, you're going to see a URL with a copy button next to it. That's exactly what you want. Go ahead and click copy. It's been copied to your clipboard. Now that it's on your clipboard, we can move over into the SharePoint site and begin editing. Uh, to edit a page on the SharePoint site, all you need to do is click the edit button on the right hand corner of the page, and we're now ready to edit. Now as you hover over different sections of the page, you'll see they become outlined. That means that they're able to be edited. And right here we've got this little plus sign. That's going to allow us to create a brand new section on this page, and that's what we're going to do right now. So we're going to click at, we're going to click on one column because we want to keep it pretty basic, at least for demonstration purposes. Now that we've got our new section, you're going to see another plus sign right here. And if you click on that, it's going to bring up a box that lets us choose the type of web parts or, or blocks of content that we want to have on this page. In this case, we're going to use Microsoft Forms, so we're going to go ahead and click on the Microsoft Forms icon, and there we go. We technically have everything kind of integrated, we just need to tell SharePoint exactly which form to display, and we do that by clicking on Add Existing Form. Again, we get a panel that shoots out on the right-hand side of the page. We're going to paste the proper address that we retrieved just a moment ago, and we're going to tell the system just to collect responses. Now there is this other option for showing form results, and I think that works really well when you're doing something like a, uh, a poll, or, or something where you want the users who are submitting information to get a sense of what other people are doing as well. In this case, we just want to collect our responses, so we're going to leave it as is, and we're going to click OK. There we go. That's our demo suggestion box. It's exactly the same as what's in Microsoft Forms, except for the layout. That's a little bit different since SharePoint's handling it at this point. Uh, but you know, I'm pretty happy with the way things look, so I'm going to go ahead and click the Republish button. Go ahead and confirm. And our demo suggestion box, Microsoft Form, is now a part of our SharePoint site. We now have a Microsoft Form included in our SharePoint site's main page, and it's ready for use. Now, if you have any questions related to Microsoft Forms, SharePoint, or any other tool found in the Microsoft 365 platform, ask us. Uh, you can visit our website at thevaliantway.com and fill out our contact form, or you could use the link to our normal question and answer form that I'm going to have in this video. Uh, ask away, and I'll, uh, I'll see you soon. All right, have a good one.